Well, good morning or afternoon, folks. Um, obviously, I'm not in class today, but I do want to continue with the show. Today, you're going to do qualitative analysis and specifically a sequential chemical analysis. And sequential is implying that there's a specific sequence to the order in which we do our chemical analysis. In the first example, we are trying to use um, precipitate reactions to create a precipitation reaction to identify whether or not calcium, lead, or barium is going to be present. Our first step is to list all the, all the ions that are insoluble with calcium, lead, and barium. To do so, you need to use your solubility chart found on page 325 or on the back of your information sheet. First, we'll do calcium. Calcium is an alkaline earth metal that is located in column number two of the periodic table. It's considered to be a group two alkaline earth or group two alkaline earth metal. So we're looking for calcium and we're trying to find substances that it will make um, precipitate or an insoluble compound with. Interesting words such as most. It sometimes can be confusing for students. Most means most. The exceptions are in the ones above. So when we look across the row, we're going to take a look at chlorine, bromine, and iodine. They group them together because they have similar uh, insoluble properties. Most substances are going to have high solubility with these things. We look at the exceptions, and the exceptions Calcium is not listed, thus chlorine, bromine, and iodine will not create a precipitate. They will not be insoluble with calcium. Column number two, the sulfides, group one and group two. Sometimes this can be a little bit ambiguous, but as I've said, calcium is a group two metal. Thus, it will, create, it will not create a precipitate. We will not record calcium creating an insoluble product with sulfide. Moving on to the hydroxides, once again, we're looking for calcium. Look in the exceptions group, group one, ammonium, strontium, barium, and tellurium. None of these are calcium, so calcium is going to fit into the category of most when making a compound with hydroxides it is going to have low solubility. Thus, we will write down hydroxide. I have written it down while the film was paused. We have to go through every anion to identify which ones will create a precipitate or have an insoluble situation with calcium. It appears that calcium appears in the low solubility for the sulfates. I will record this momentarily. Also, most substances are going to have low solubility with the carbonate, the phosphate, and the sulfite group. Calcium falls into this. It's a group two. It doesn't fall into our exceptions of group one or the ammonia. Sorry, ammonium. Moving on, our acetate ion. Okay, most people may not identify this. Acetate ions usually have high precipitate, sorry, have high solubility, but the silver obviously will have low solubility. And good old nitrates, they don't precipitate with anybody. All right, so I'll record that in our chart. I have recorded all of the substances that will create a pre precipitate with calcium in a row beside calcium. I'm going to do this for the next two ions, the lead and the barium. Here is the line for the lead. Apparently I'm having a little bit of focusing issues. That's much better. And you can see it's chlorine, bromine, iodine, sulfide, hydroxide, sulfate, carbonate, phosphate, and sulfite. And here I have completed it for the barium as well. The sulfate, the carbonate, the phosphate, and the sulfite. Some people might be a little bit mm, concerned in the fact that sulfite is not part of that list, 
but remember barium is a group two metal. Step two in our chemical sequential our sequential chemical analysis, we are trying to identify ions that are specific to only one substance. Okay? So it reads out of your list, find an ion that will precipitate only one thing. It will be only in one one of the lists for the ion. Add this ion to the solution first so it will only precipitate one thing. We usually write our answer in the form of a flowchart. First, let's get a plan before we make our flowchart. Welcome back. Trying to use the process of elimination, I've identified substances that are common through each of these three types of ions. You can see that the sulfates are highlighted in pink, common amongst all three. And then we have the grouping of the carbonate, the phosphate, and the sulfite, and that's common amongst all three. None of these are an appropriate choice for us to do first. We have to identify what is common amongst only one of the type of ions that we have listed. In green, I have furthermore highlighted the hydroxide ions that are common between both the calcium and the lead. We can see that the chlorine, the bromine, the iodide, and the sulfide are only amongst the lead. We're going to identify whether or not lead is going to be going to be present in a solution. We're going to try to identify this first because it has characteristics where it will create precipitate with chlorine, bromine, iodide, or sulfide. So starting our flow chart, we are going to try to utilize one of those four ions that will create a precipitate with lead. I will try to use safe substances and substances that typically are going to be common. In this case, if I look at my list, I have chlorine, bromine, iodide, and sulfide. To me, the one that is most common and probably the safest is good old chlorine. If I couple this with sodium, I have a very common household product that is cheap and inexpensive and safe. Ding, ding, ding. My first action is to ask the question, will it create a precipitate with sodium chloride? So I need to add sodium chloride. And thus we'll ask the question, will a precipitate form? So if we add sodium chloride to a solution that possibly could contain calcium, lead, or barium, we have, and we add sodium chloride, we have a situation where either it will create a precipitate precipitate or it will not create a precipitate. So I will just put at either end of my horizontal line yes or no to the question will a precipitate form. And this is... The